found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades, New York-based law firm Morgan... Mr. Yates? It's Aaron, sir, from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the files. I'm sorry it took so long, but I've had to access our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Hotel in Bangkok. Bum, and now he must be over the moon about John down. He's been living alone here for what, six years? Ever since the scandal that ruined her career. 
Are you kidding? That's the perfect marriage. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble of finely aged cynicism, but the Yates are genuinely crazy about each other. They're the proverbial power couple. Valentina was always Don's most trusted advisor and vice versa. Some say she's the brains behind some of his most famous court strategies. Huh. Talk about insult to injury. What do you mean? Oh, it's just that one of Yates's clients is the rival to the Semaphore phone company, which got exposed in the data leak that ruined Valentina's career. In fact, Yates would have lost his first high-profile case had it not happened. I guess her loss was his gain. Huh. Didn't know about that. Well, I guess if they can survive that, they can survive anything. Except retirement. assume the worst. Shit, sorry. Sam, no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. Just relax. You'll be in your way again in a second. All right, cool. You're clean and good to go. All right, there. Aaron Ford, Jr. Don Yates is expecting me. Okay. Right this way, Mr. Ford. But there's nobody. Nobody? I mean, compared to some of the other power players at the party. A former lobbyist, a political advisor, why would Mr. Yates waste his time on a bunch of low-level bureaucrats? Even if they all wear the same weird thing. You look like a lawyer, all right. You got that killer instinct. It's a gift. You can set up your shop in here. Mr. Yates will be right with you.
Edwards. John Yates. I have received your letter. I merely called to express I my salute request you. that you were not able to make it to the party. Rest assured that I will extend our new herald the warmest of welcomes. A most shrewd and sagacious move on your part, bringing her into the fold. I have the utmost confidence that Miss Burnwood will prove a valuable addition to the group. Feel free to call me at your leisure. Have a good day. <coughs> machine? Since when do I get the machine? Ma'am, I recovered this intel. It concerns yourself and Mr. Yates. I think you ought to take a look. I see. Thank you. No, no, it can't be. He, he didn't. He couldn't have. I bastard! <sighs> Don! I no! Valentina? What's wrong? You look upset. Don, what did you do? Tell me you didn't. Do what? I don't understand. Semaphore. The data leak. It was you. It was you all along. I... So stupid. Why did I see it before? You leaked the document so you could win your stupid case. You didn't care that my career would be destroyed. My reputation dragged through the mud. Your Don Cojones Yates and Don Yates never loses a case, no matter the cost. My love, it was... I didn't mean for you to... What did you just call me? Are you insane, Don? How can you claim to love somebody and then destroy their world with the flick of a pen? It was just business. You know the game, Valentina. You know how it's played. There's a limit. There is always a limit. No. The old Valentina, she would have understood. But you've been down here for too long, my love. You've grown soft. Bastard. Now this for soft! No! Ah! Ah! Don, get up. Get up. Get back up here. We're not done. I didn't mean to. My voice. There's no air in here. Sure they're up for this? I don't want to piss off someone who could take my head off from a thousand yards away. They're bored out of their wits. Go on, just keep something. It'll be fun. 
Scratch their asses too when they think nobody's watching. <laughs> Don't be crude. Pay attention. Yates wants us on high alert. We've been at this for months. Ever since the one percent killings began, nothing's gonna happen. I know. When you start thinking like that, that's when it does. Who are we on the lookout for anyway? Yates didn't say. Just a standby for a picture ID and a kill order. Fine. Don Yates has the snipers on high alert. They await a picture ID and kill order from the guards on the ground. Yates himself is clearly off limits, but Tamara Vidal is a different matter. I'll just practice my lip reading. What's next? Wait, I got it. You balance an apple on your head. <laughs> Up yours, Rico. <laughs> what? It's a classic. Okay, okay. Falcon, I have a target request. Standing by for visual ID. Use your camera, over. Falcon, I'm sending a visual ID of the target, over. Confirm. Do I take the shot, over. Take the shot. Over. I know, I know. I'm such a cheap son of a bitch. Target is down. Over. You're a good guy, right? You know how to tank him? You still actually just a little bit. Screw it up on me.
yet some of the men drag a tarp up to Yates' study. Falcon. Tarp? I have you a know. confirmed security like threat. This is no drill. Over. I don't have a clear shot. Reposition target into line of sight. Over. Right. Ma'am, enjoying the party. A bit crowded for my taste. Mm-hmm. Have you been down to the gardens? It's remote. Quiet. You'd like it. Bring your friend. I might just do that. She could use a bit of downtime. If only it weren't for the muscle. They follow us everywhere, I'm afraid. Where there's a will, there's a way. Excuse me. Tenants really occupy the middle of the paddock, don't they? Say, since you're not leaving my side, would you mind slipping down to the gardens? I'm dying for a smoke, and I don't want to bother anybody. Ah, yes. The vilification of smoking. A bit of systemic nudging and public opinion falls flat on his back. <laughs> Bunch of enemies. Anyway, lead the way. Hey! Hold on. Target just reappeared. Is that? Confirm kill order. Over. Hey. How would you like to go tomorrow? Jeez. How many have you heard? I'm serious. You've seen death in the CIA as a herald. You've done some harrowing things. Tell me you've never thought about it. No, not even once. Ah! I don't want to tell you. And hey, perhaps we never need to. They've done some amazing things with reverse aging over at Ether. Just you wait and see. And you have no guilt? You've toppled governments, changed the fate of nations, altered the lives of millions of people. It's called history, Burnwood. It has to happen. It can't not happen. You can be behind the wheel or under it. Your choice. Hmm. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. What's that? Oh, nothing. Just something a friend told me. Take the shot. Just humor me Over. tomorrow. If you absolutely... Target is down. Over. Target down. It... Feels different up close. You liked her. She had a lot to answer for, and she would have become a threat, I'm sure of that. It's just. you're not supposed to get to know them, are you?
It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs>